just one simple Lightroom trick can make your landscape photos look awesome. And I'm going to show you how. Let's dive in my computer so I can show you how this trick works because it's a very cool trick. I loaded up some photos in my computer, some landscape photos, and as you can see, these photos are the, 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 the raw files so like I shot them. The only thing I've did with the photos is made them a little bit more brighter because I shoot underexposed, that's the way I work. And later up I will make them a little bit more brighter. Normally I do it with tone curves, but I don't want to make it very uh, complex for you guys. I want to make it very simple to make a photo pop instantly. What tool are we going to use for that? That's the calibration tool and that's right here. So in your computer, the calibration tool maybe be lower um, in the, order but you can change that if you do right a right mouse button and change the order of your or you can even move the basics down if you like i've put my tone curves and my calibration high up because that's the both of them i use them a lot so you go to your calibration tool and the only thing you do is just throw this one up and you instantly see your photo getting better throw this one down well like this this one up that's the only thing i do up and down so I'm fully down, yep, always fully down. Up. So I'm down, and you always see the difference. A little bit higher or lower, depending on how you look at it. And see how great the photo looks just by simply adjusting your calibration. One important thing you gotta do is change your white balance because uh, your white balance is very important. So Make it a little bit more neutral. And your photo is done. You made a great photo just instantly. Only thing you've done is just add the calibration tool. That's the only thing you've done, as you can see here. That's a huge difference. So again, if we go to, well, we, uh, if we copy the settings, so Command C on a Mac, Control C probably on Windows, and I copy the settings to this, well, let's say this photo, I copy them. I have to make it a little bit more brighter. You can see the difference from the photo and the original one. Sorry, this original photo, this the edited photo. I didn't do anything and it's already looking great. The white balance is perfect. It's in the middle. It's perfect for the photo. So grab a more difficult photo. This is, So this photo is very blue dominant. And I probably have to pull the... White balance a little bit more to, towards this side because it was very early in the morning. There's a lot of sun coming here. So again, if I use these settings, 100, well, let's say I, I do it like this, more easy. Mine 68. Mm, like this. Mm, minus 100. Plus 67. And here, minus. And the photo gets better instantly. Maybe I have to change this a little bit around. Because there's still blue in the sky. It made this photo look better. This is a little bit too dark. But I don't mind it being too dark. Because I like the, the contrast of my silhouette here. But you can make it a little bit pop a little bit more like this. Same with, oh, let's say this photo. You can use the same settings. Again. And if you use these settings on your photo, it will definitely work. It works on every photo. And you can change it around. So I will show you a photo where you can... It's a little bit different. This one always up. You can still change it around as you can see. The grass get greener or more orange, more like autumn vibe. It was autumn actually, so it looks just better. You can make this pop more for the roof. Again here you can see if you make the roof a little pop a little bit more. I would change the white balance a little bit here. So like this. It's, it's, it's a little bit too blue for me. But you can, you can change that with different type of color mixer. Or uh, you can do it like this. You. Just like this. You can change. Oh sorry. That's not you. That's the saturation. Like this. If you like. But that's how easy it works. So this setting, and if I make it uh, uh, copy the preset again, use another photo. Well, let's say this one. Looks cool. Also, there was an autumn photo. It's very, it has a lot of contrast. So if you like, like it's too much fibers in the photo, too much saturation, you can 
pulled a little bit down if you like. Well, these kind of photos, you can have a, like a hard, um, um, vibrant colors because it just pops more, especially when you print those photos. Same here, if you use these, these settings, again, I can do manually like this. I just throw them up and down. Even Don't even be very precise. You can do that later. Pop. Look here, so it's a little bit too blue. So you can adjust the white balance. So in this photo it's maybe too blue and too orangey. So you can change it up right here. Because this makes it very orange. A little bit back. Pull the blues a little bit back. Like this. So you can change it around. So if you see this one makes it really pop. Just pull it back a little bit. And you can create a vibe like you want. How cool is that? Just a calibration tool, easy fix to make your photos pop instantly. And if you see the difference between the original photo and the edit photo, it looks so much better. If you found this trick useful, there's way more on my channel, tricks, tips, hacks, you name it. Even behind the scenes, because I'm a photographer, if you want to look behind the scenes, how I photograph, how I make my photos, what kind of lenses I use, check out my channel, because I share a lot with the commun community. I like to share everything i've learned from the community if you're curious about my photos go visit my instagram and hope to see you next time with a new cool lightroom trick hey!